Hello everyone! Welcome to the Science Stuff! Today, we will be looking at the differences between arteries and veins. So for this, we will look at various differentiating factors. What will be our first one? Our first factor is going to be the transport direction of the blood. Arteries carry blood away from the heart while veins carry the blood towards the heart. In this diagram of the heart, we can see the superior vena cava, which is one of the largest veins in the human body. It brings blood into the heart. Here we see the aorta, which is one of the largest arteries in the human body, and it pumps the blood away from the heart to the rest of the body. Now, let's differentiate arteries and veins based on the type of blood flowing through them. Now, arteries generally carry oxygenated blood, while veins carry deoxygenated blood. By oxygenated, we mean that the blood has a high quantity of oxygen and a low quantity of carbon dioxide. By deoxygenated, we mean that the blood has a lower quantity of oxygen and a higher quantity of carbon dioxide as compared to oxygenated blood. Now in my differences, I use the term generally. This is because in the case of pulmonary circulation, which is one part of double circulation, the pulmonary vein carries the oxygenated blood from the lungs to the heart, while the pulmonary artery carries the deoxygenated blood from the heart to the lungs. Now let's differentiate these vessels on the basis of pressure intensity. Now the pressure of blood flowing is very high in arteries while the pressure of blood flowing is much lesser in veins. In this graph, you can see how the pulse pressure slowly reduces as blood moves from the arteries to the capillaries to the veins. Now let's differentiate them on the basis of the elasticity of the blood vessels walls. Now the walls of arteries are thick to accommodate the high blood pressure. The walls of veins are thin since the blood pressure is not that high. In this diagram, you can see the differences between the wall thickness of arteries and veins. Now let's look at the resistance and capacitance of arteries and veins. Arteries are blood vessels that have resistance. Resistance is the slowing or blocking of blood flow. Now veins are blood vessels that have capacitance. Capacitance is the measure of a blood vessel's ability to increase the amount of blood it holds without a large increase in blood pressure. Now let's differentiate arteries and veins on the basis of the color of the blood flowing through them. Now the blood in arteries is a bright red color while the blood in veins is dark red. Arterial blood is a bright red color as the hemoglobin present in it has received plenty of oxygen. In contrast, the hemoglobin in the venous blood has lost a lot of oxygen, so venous blood is dark red, almost blackish in color. Now the one exception to this is the pulmonary artery and the pulmonary vein as they carry deoxygenated and oxygenated blood respectively. Now let's differentiate between these two blood vessels on the basis of their lumen or inside space. Now what is a lumen? A lumen is the inside space of a tubular structure, in this case the blood vessels. The lumen in arteries is narrow while the lumen in veins is wider. 
Arteries have smaller lumina than veins, a characteristic that helps it to maintain the pressure of blood moving through the system. Now let's differentiate between arteries and veins based on the presence of semilunar valves. Arteries do not have semilunar valves, while veins have semilunar valves. In this diagram, we can see the artery and the vein. Now veins have semilunar valves to prevent the backflow of blood as the blood running through is at a much lesser pressure than the blood running through the arteries. The blood running in the veins also many times has to defy gravity. Now let's look at the rate of blood flow in arteries and veins. In arteries, the rate of blood flow is rapid and quick, while in veins, the rate of blood flow is slow and steady due to the lesser pressure. Now let's look at the locations of arteries and veins. Arteries are located deep within the body while veins are located close to the skin. This is because the blood is flowing in high pressure in the arteries and any injury could lead to high blood loss as compared to injured veins. Finally, let's differentiate between arteries and veins based on their wall composition or the tunica media. Now the tunica media is the middle portion of the vessel wall. In arteries, the tunica media comprises of smooth and elastic muscle tissue, while in veins, the tunica media comprises of few elastic fibers and is less muscular. As we can see, the wall of the vessel is thicker in arteries than veins. You have now reached the end of this video. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you now have a clearer understanding on the differences between arteries and veins. Please like, share and subscribe and comment down below on any questions, queries or suggestions you might have. And remember, you're watching The Science Stuff.